Are you satisfied so far with the performance of Akufuado's government? I think it is important for us to recognize that a mandate of a president is four years. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I've said it before and I want to repeat this. It's not for me as an individual to come and sit and pass judgment on my own government. Mm -hmm. What is important that we work to the satisfaction of the mandate that has been reposed in us. We don't take things for granted. Again, there is no more graphic evidence of the feelings of Ghanaians. It is the Ghanaians who pass judgment on how we are running the country in 2020. Mm -hmm. You know the difference between 2016 and 2020. In 2020, a 63-seat majority was collapsed to zero. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. And our majority vote was halved. So there's quite clear evidence for the president to imbibe that the Ghanaian populace were not too happy with the first term. So it's for him to process it and decide on what changes to make so that we can give ourselves an opportunity to win in 2024. That's still two and a half years. And especially now, we've had COVID, we've had the international situation. The world has become a difficult place. And we, as Ghana, cannot extricate ourselves. So it's going to be very tough. It's how well, as political leaders, we conduct ourselves. When we were saying that the citizens should tighten their belts, we should tighten ours harder. So we have to cut the waste. He has to cut waste. There is no doubt in my in my mind at all that there's a lot of wastage in Ghana. And I think they should take a critical look at revenue generation, the Tema Harbor, the Tema Ports. I can tell you with, without any fear or favor, that I think we are getting only 20% of what the nation needs. What we could get from Tema Ports. From Tema. A lot of slippages, we know that. Well, we have been in government for close to six years. And I remember myself and Kojo Banu organizing a sting operation just to check a few things one Friday evening. And At what, the port? Yes, and what we saw. Kojo Banu as finance minister. Yes, was appalling. All we did was to get some national security guys to stop some senior officers outside the port mm -hmm. late Friday evening. And what we discovered in their boot is not something I want to be able to come and discuss here. But you but didn't arrest them? They were. Oh, they, okay. They were. You didn't publish it? Well, you know, Kojo, Kojo Ban is a very mm -hmm. is a quiet type. So he took action without making too much noise. But it's important that we look at certain elements of our economy. How is it that the cocoa industry that has taken care of this country for over 100 years has not been able to save enough to take care of itself? And that every year, year in, year out, we board. have to go and syndicate loans because some people benefit from syndication of these loans. This has to stop. The so-called trading room in London has to be wiped out. Cocoa is bought in cities. We pay our, our local farmers in cities. Why do we have to go and contract a loan in dollars, come and change it to the cities, and then later change it back into dollars? What kind of arrangement is that? And some people arrange their loan and get paid for it. A lot of arrangement fees, mm -hmm. insurance, all sorts of things. These are things we should look at very critically. Our extractive industry. The last time I checked, you will be surprised. The five top destinations for our gold exports. The, the figures they are recording, it's about three times what we are recording in Ghana as living here. Figures that are being recorded as, as arriving over there. As living as, our, as our the shops. destination. Yes. Okay. The gap between the two is about three times. So somebody is... is so there's something happening. There's pilfering going on. You know, and after so many years, 65 years, I don't think we should be shipping raw beans because nobody of uses... cocoa beans. Yes. We should. We should process 100%, or at least we should start targeting. Let's say we are in 40, 50, 60, set a time for 100%, so that all those processing factories will be in Ghana and can be owned by Ghanaians. These are machines that are working. I don't see why any big factory has to belong to a foreigner. We can enable our people to own these factories. Why do, don't we have any refineries? All Is that gold, like one district, one factory that Akufado has been talking about? Look. <laughs> Paul, what I mean is that we have to look at the big picture. Mm -hmm. We have to change the narrative. We've got to create a new era of thinking. Mm -hmm. That politics is about service, is about solutions. creating solutions, mm -hmm. 
It's about helping the country. And you should feel pride in our country as Ghanaians. Like the footballers, when they score the goals, they start kissing the badge. We have to be nationalistic. That is missing. You listen to the radio, you listen to TV, Ghanaians are being interviewed, and they are not passionate about their country. Because they don't see it from the political leaders. Has so, media got a role to play? A major role. A major role. Very major role to play the media. Because I think the media has been very lazy about it by doing partisan politics for all the four years, all over the world. Talking about politics only for four years. No development agenda. That's the point you're making? Well, the point I'm trying to make is that when governments are put in office, they have a, a little bit of a honeymoon. Yeah. You don't have a situation where every morning you have MPP, NDC on all radio stations discussing issues like floods that they have no knowledge about. Mm. <laughs> you, you understand? You know, it's about a human settlement. How are we even running our human settlements in this country? Right now, we have a chaotic assemblage of district assemblies mm -hmm. in Accra alone. I, I don't know what's the thinking behind that. Yes, uh, one thing I, I totally disagree Recently, with. I, was, I went to Plus 233 yeah. to go and uh, uh, listen to good jazz music. And then I saw a cordon of land at the Plus 233 car park. Yes. Guess what? Osu Municipal Assembly is building their headquarters there. Why? So I was wondering, what does AMA have left? Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. If Osu is gone, Labadi have Ladma. Uh, Teshi has I, Lekma. I, I, I don't know the thinking behind yeah, all that. So I don't know the thinking, be, especially when it comes to the management of the engineering functions. Yes. That becomes very difficult to handle, especially if you have some overzealous DC who wants to manage his staff. Because these functions transcend boundaries. If you are designing storm drainage, it has to be a basin-wide approach to look at it so that you can prescribe proper solutions for that. The same with waste management. The same with roads. You know. So I do not understand the thinking. We started with 110 districts. Now we have what? Almost co-terminus with the... Parliamentary receipt. Why? Making the cost of running government too expensive. expensive. Yeah, yeah. It's too expensive. So we have to cut it. Cut it back. But even the parliamentary 275 is too many. I've, I don't think we should ever have gone beyond yeah, I was 200. discussing with some politicians yeah. recently. They said we can cut back. Yeah. But they said the cutback will be very political. Why because would you, you're going to if reduce, we are if we are if we for instance say hundred thousand is the threshold yes. for like they do in UK yes. for each constituency yes. the political outcome will be that a political party will lose a lot of his will have to put three together Nadole is still eight thousand so if you you're adding you Nadole see, up to hundred thousand when you start the argument like that mm -hmm. and you start mentioning constituencies, constituencies mm -hmm. and especially you know those who win those constituencies Precisely. they will fight back they will yes, push, they'll push the, back but that's the point that is why we have to look at a very bipartisan approach to our country. But we may not get it in a winner-takes-all situation when they know they will lose. I, I don't have an issue with a winner-takes-all. I disagree with that respectfully. Okay. You think we, it, we, think we don't have a winner-takes-all? We, we have to improve leadership. I believe that is what we have to improve. Leadership. How we lead our country. So we have to in, choose a leadership in a certain way. No. How we run the country. How mm -hmm. we run the country. It's absolutely vital. For instance, I, I, I've, I've said it to you many times. I think that when the constitution says 19 cabinet ministers, mm -hmm. I think they are giving us, the framers are giving us the idea of the size of government. Mm -hmm. Government after government. Evaluated it, yeah. Government after government. And We've always you, gone beyond 80. Yeah. And I, 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 I quite don't, I don't understand. But the constitution didn't make a, a parliament. It didn't, it didn't say... No, it says... Yeah, it 19 says, cabinet. That's a, that's it a says 19 cabinet. Why yes. should a minister not be cabinet? Yeah, so because you, you, so, you so look you at the, the constitution. Framers were pointing us to 19 ministers. Uh, I think so. They were giving us an idea. They were giving but then us they an have idea. Said so clearly. Well, at the end of the day, sometimes they, they say the British don't have a constitution. They don't. They the have, parliament decides. They, they have conventions and all that kind of stuff. I think that we should cut back. On the because number of ministers. When you have you have a handle on your ministers, one, you are likely to be able to control them better, mm -hmm. and then even the the, the, the position of a minister will be more valuable if there are not too many ministers around the country. Because you wonder whether the president will know every of the 94 ministers. Again, that's, that's a worry. Yeah. That is a worry. So it's absolutely vital. And some of the ministries can be collapsed into... But we're actually dividing them. Why? It's Water, sanitation, and works and housing. I think works and one. housing should be, whether you call it public works or all those works can be there. Mm -hmm. It used Trans to be. Yeah. Transport. When I was press secretary to president, I quite remember having a little argument with my boss 
where there was uh, you were having railways, yes, yes, aviation, railways and ports and harbor. I never understood because I was a civil engineer and I understand transport to be transport. The only one that you can extract out of transport because of its centrality to our development is roads. Because roads is so critical, yeah. you need to give it special attention. Mm -hmm. All other forms of transport should be under transport. I've never believed in having aviation, having ports, having railways. I've never. That, but that's a personal view. Mm -hmm. You understand. So those are things as, as a country and as political leaders we should look at. Take a critical look at it. Think through it. It can be bipartisan. The parties can have a discussion. So that if we think Ghana can be run with 15 ministries. We can put in a constitution. Every, yes. You don't need to put in the constitution. We but we have a, an upper limit. Mm -hmm. We have an upper limit. <laughs> About two days ago, I met uh, a few judges, uh, friends of mine, and uh, they were arguing with me about my talk about why we should have more than nine Supreme Court judges in Ghana. Ah, yeah. You want to do that? You, you prefer the American situation? I think we should have a couple. Maybe not nine, but uh, a couple. 13. No, I think nine is good. Mm -hmm. Nine is good. Look, we don't have the money. We are complaining that we don't have the money. Yes. And yes. especially as we are allowing them to retire at 70. I Constitution think, says they should. I think they shouldn't retire at 70. Constitution becomes you know, law, to law, Lawyers, no, no. The no, Supreme they, Court is 70. The rest no, they are should, 60. They should, they should continue. Court of till, Appeal is 65. They should continue till death. Because oh, with okay. law, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you get better when you, you get better. You it's like old wine. Experience is very important. And, and look at someone like Uncle Samuel Kujetu. He he's should a, have been on the Supreme he's, Court. He's 86 now. Yeah. He's on the uh, uh, Council, Council of State. Of State yeah. Still looking sprightly and young. So are you saying that you're going to retire him if he was on the Supreme Court? He would have retired a long time ago, Which is 16 wrong. years ago. That, and you still continue to pay him because judges retire on their salary. Oh, I get the point. So you are, is, you are doubling point. it. I get the point. So that's expensive. Uh, very expensive. So the, those who have gone, we are paying. We are paid. And those who are there, we are paying. Pay. Same amount. Same amount. So well, maybe not the same, but... Well, whatever the case may be, they retire on their salary. It's a cost to the economy. Yeah, it's the so, so, if somebody were to ask you, uh, Mr. Japan, that uh, uh, major generals retire on their salary, should we keep them? Look, we have to cut our code according to our so salary. IGPs retire on their salary. I we, think, look, we can keep all I that. remember I made this analogy and people said I was being too simplistic. I wasn't. I was just drawing the principle. It's like managing your home. I'm not saying that the complexity of managing a country it's the same as that, but you can draw analogy. Because, Paul, you're sitting here. You know how much you earn. Mm -hmm. It determines what you put on your table. Yeah, absolutely. It determines. If you don't have the money, you won't be chewing corn beef. <laughs> you, you, you understand? And I don't think you go borrowing just to come and put wines and champagnes on your table. You can't do that. Yeah. This is a slave who is doing it, by the way. Well, they, they are a different group of people. You know, <laughs> who, who, that's a different discussion that we can have. You know, yeah. you know because I think the, young, the mm. younger ones are putting themselves under mm. unnecessary pressure. Have you seen the nightclub that's coming up near your house? There? It's called Garage. When you get out of East Legon, yeah, I've been there. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm a nightclubber. So, so you saw the slave queens? Uh, oh, I see them a lot. Yeah, yeah, they are there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these days when girls have birthdays, they have something they call a photo shoot. Oh, and they, have, is, and they have small. to go and dress yeah. up, yeah, yeah, yeah. hire photographers. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. waste of money. Really? Yeah, it's a waste of your Why? money. You don't have the money, and you're going to do Over that? somebody's pain. No, oh, somebody's pain. Yeah, some guy's pain. Paul, you are paying. Some major points pain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, of wow. course, I mean, I, I, perhaps mm -hmm. I belong to a different generation. But mm -hmm. I, I keep saying that our generation is very lucky. Yeah. We have transitioned from... The, the crude past, mm -hmm. where we, we, our televisions were like that, black and white, yeah, 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 yeah. to now the 4HK, whatever mm -hmm. you call it. Mm -hmm. You know, we saw it. Our children will never understand what we are talking mm -hmm. about. Never get it. That we had to go to uh, Accra, High Street, stay for three days before you could make a call to your mother in UK. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they'll be rolling that thing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, those, not too long ago, 80s, mm -hmm. it was happening. Even in the UK, there was no ATM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand, I have my bank book from Halifax, Building Society. In 1986, you go as a dot matrix, you put it in, da, 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 da. you know, things have changed in this world. Yes, yeah. we understand and we appreciate. But I think we should look at the merits and the better sides of it than 